Hi, this is Kyle coming at you live on social media. Thank you for giving me the opportunity for sharing this tutorial video from wherever I am. But notice I normally don't do a tutorial because I just moved into my first apartment about two months ago. And I just want to say thank you for giving me the chance and the opportunity to share this video on how to work the Studio Logic MP117 bass pedal with this Yamaha Mo XF8 keyboard because I just had a request from a person by the name of Kalani, I mean Kalani Frazier, two weeks ago, asking me to do a tutorial on how to hook. The Studio Logic MP117 into the Yamaha Mo XF8. But notice, excuse the movements while I'm trying to explain, while I'm demonstrating on how to do tutorial, meeting out of the MP117 into the Moex F8 Yamaha. But here it comes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Especially that goes for that person by the name Fraser. Enjoy. Okay. First, you have to get first, please make sure you have an adapter. Which is universal by Studio Logic. Make sure that you have the two prong like twelve volts. And as a matter of fact, make sure you have an adapter like this so you can hook it into the MP one seventeen bass pedal. Next, which is number two. What you need to do is please make sure you take, please make sure you get your five pin MIDI cable, whether it's black, red, orange, white, green, blue, or your choice of color, depending on what store they sell five pin MIDI cable. For example, I'm still on number two. I have a five pin mini black cable. This is my five pin black mini cable. And I'm hooking it out, midding out of that bass pedal jack. Please make sure you take whatever your mini cable and midi out of this. MP117 jack just like I did when I first purchased this bass pedal. Now, also on the second part of step number two, please make sure that you're saying MIDI cable, especially, especially the black one, for example, make sure you track, track this 5 pin MIDI cable and MIDI into this Moex F8 by Yamaha. see this MIDI where it says MIDI and Jack. You don't want it on MIDI out or MIDI through because the only way you can get the bass pedal sounds out is that you have to MIDI into this Yamaha Mo XF8 so that way the Mo XF8 sounds can come out of the bass pedal.
Now, moving on to number three, which is the utility section. Make sure, make sure your keyboard is turned on. And you see, sorry, I had to reset it. Back to instructions. Now back to number three. Now you see the utility button right here under mode. Go to util go to the utility button. Press this utility button so that way you see the utility section. And where you said where it says TG output keyboard performance creation remote other general voice and all the stuff until you get to MIDI you stay on utility button when you get to MIDI press the MIDI channel which is F6 right here so that way you see basic receive channel making sure that the channel is set on number three because the other night when I was doing my rehearsal on MP 117 with the Mo XF8 I tried one nothing came out of that bass pedal. I tried two, nothing, until I went to three. But I say that to say this, please make sure while I'm still on, on, while I'm still on number three, in the utility section, then make sure you get on MIDI channel so that where you can switch the basic receive channel to number three in, an, in order to get the bass pedal sounds. In fact, but also please make sure you turn on turn your volume to adjust your volume to uh, the proper setting so you can hear the Mo XF sounds come out of your bass pedal. So that way you can play the bass pedal and both hand chords at the same time. While I'm putting my camera down to demonstrate. Four, enjoy playing your bass pedal along with your Moex F8 at the same time, like I just did. But notice, short notice, you can change the sounds however you like to get it to sound however you want to hear it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thumbs up if you like this video and this video helps you. Otherwise, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, and may God bless you and take care. I hope this video makes sense enough 
for those for those of y'all. I hope y'all hope y'all getting the grasp of what I'm saying. Otherwise, you can rewind it back and get the clear explanation of what I just did, so you can understand it better. Because it takes more than one time to understand a person's video when it comes to demonstration on how to use Studio Logic MP117 with your MoXF8, especially for Kalani Frazier. And I apologize for taking too long to upload this video on tutorial. So hopefully you can enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you understand, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And peace out.